Hello, fuckers! My name is Mecha, and I welcome you guys to another part of Fire Emblem Pitfalls. And uh, today I'm gonna teach you how to play Chapter 13 of Fire Emblem 7 in Search of Truth! <laughs> and I am angst, and I'm going to do my best to fuck this up. <laughs> we're, we're playing Reverse Fire Emblem today, so Mecha's gonna... Mecha's gonna give all the bad advice, and I'm gonna give all the good advice. But first, the real reason why you're all here, my fabulous voice acting that Mecha loves. Okay. Starting face palming in three, <clears throat> two, one. Hector rescues Elliewood, and the two friends are reunited. The paladin Marcus reveals news. Someone has called for Elliewood's death. Ferris' problems must be connected to the attempt on Elliewood's life. Searching for more clues, Hector and friends depart for the castle of Marcus Santa Rus. <laughs> I got a good voice, Domeka. You gotta gotta give me that. I got a I got a good voice. No comment. Chapter thirteen. In search of truth. See if we can find it. Maybe it's hidden somewhere here. Ominous plot music thickens. Master Affidel, what is the meaning of this? Hmm, I'm gonna see if I can remember my Eli my Affidel voice. Peace, Lord Herman, whatever is wrong? You said that you were just going to frighten Elliwood. Your men almost killed him. My patience is at an end. I've decided I must tell Elliwood everything and apologize. You would betray us. I am tired of you and the Black Fang. Now rem remove yourself from my castle. Your presence paints me. Lord Herman, is there nothing I can do to change your mind? Nothing. In that case, you're no longer of any use to us. <laughs> and he killed him. Rip, old guy we never knew. There's the castle, Lilywood. Hmm, who's there? Show yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it works? You just tell someone who's in to show themselves and they do it. It's a very stealthy. Well, it's a very the, stealthy. That would make hide and seek a pretty boring game, wouldn't it? Bah! Can't believe I was spotted by a snot-nosed stripling. Who are you? No, never mind. Keep your name. Why should I care about what a corpse is called? Ooh. One of the few good lines in FE7. The cop thinks he's a wolf. Does the bite match your buck? Tell you what, you make it to the castle alive? We'll find it out, eh? <laughs> He's very fast. <laughs> yeah. That's not when I in the game, probably. Hey, you! Yeah, the new dog. Get this right or you're gone. Hmm. I wonder which one of these are recruitable, Mecha. I, I can't put my finger on it. I think, I think it's one of them. I don't know. Dorcas is pretty ugly, so <laughs> probably the right one. I know, I know. I just got this job. I don't want to lose it. Of course, the smart thing to do would have been to give the players some exposition so they know who to recruit me with. Involved with this ugly bunch. Gotta have gold if I want to eat, though. so subtle, I love it. <laughs> I was so picky before. Think about that time I passed out and killed. Ooh, nothing funny about that. That man, what was his name? Oh, Matthew, right, that's the guy you gotta talk to me with to recruit me. If I hadn't been for him, I would've starked to death. What are you mumbling about, you idiot? Stop expositioning and get out of there now! Oh yes, I'm coming. At least I got work. Whew, that's good. Oh, that's me. You saw it? I, I was there. This is false. This Same. guy was not bald. Same X. <laughs> not sure how to say it. <laughs> but you're bad at fire emblem. <laughs> I did serve you that on a silver platter. You're a full blown technician, aren't you? He does blow, alright. <laughs> not just an apprentice like before. <laughs> no need to be so modest. <laughs> My lord technician. I humbly await your no doubt. You just see the sarcasm dripping off Matthew's face in this scene. It's very, it's very well written. All right, so it's time okay. for it's time for the new chapter. Uh, I just like to do this. I like to turn off Sarah's animations because they're boring to watch. Even though I like to turn lovely. off Sarah too. <laughs> I, I get I like to turn on Sarah. Things. All right, so in this uh, chapter, uh, ah. the, uh, this, is, this is chapter thirteen, and it's uh, a lot easier than the previous one. I I, I imagine. Um, I know it's a lot easier. Uh, there's one recruitable character here. Guess who we need to talk to this guy with? <laughs> this guy, get it? Get it, Mecha? Because his name is Guy. <laughs> 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 so let's talk a little bit about Guy. So, Guy's the first Myrmidon you get. Uh, he's not as awesome as um, Rutger from Fire Emblem 6, who people uh, often compare him to. Um, but he, he has a very, very good base skill and speed, as you might expect from a Myrmidon. It's a very impressive 70% speed growth, which is really nice. Although I do have some issues with Guy because his strength growth is really low and uh, he tends to get strength screwed a little bit, at least in my playthroughs. So, and I just don't like Myrmidons in general because they're locked to swords and swords are bad in the Game Boy Advance Fire Emblem because they're not javelins, they're axes. 
Uh, still, normally I would rate Gaia 2 out of 5 stars, but in Hector Hard Mode I rate him 2 out of 5 stars simply because he gets those nice, juicy Hard Mode bonuses, which really helps him out a lot. He can double a lot of the enemies, and he comes with a Killing Edge. So for that reason alone, I rate him 2 out of 5 stars. What do you say, Mecha? Um, 2 out of 5, 3 out of 5, probably. Um, I think he's really nice early game, because... Uh, a lot of your units don't want to kill enemies, and Gee is one of the few people who can actually do it with the Killing Edge without critting. Because mm. uh, his base strength is actually really good, and obviously his speed is really good. Uh, but then later on, you just want people that move like 8 tiles and throw javelins at people, so he kind of becomes useless. Yeah. Not useless, but just not very useful. You don't really need all that speed anymore to double enemies, because they get slower compared yeah. to the player characters. Uh, and his strength is just really bad, it doesn't have 1 to range. And also, we sent you to Dermage after instead of Kenneth by training him. So he's an only guy I would feed to Veda <laughs> if, I, if I needed to. Actually, I actually did that in another draft. <laughs> I do that a lot, apparently. So, uh, also, uh, so one, right. one of the things that I really hate about uh, Gay, I also always call him Guy, but I guess it's Gay. Yeah, don't on top me to call him Gay. <laughs> it's it's uh, he only has five con, and that really fucks him over because he, nah. he loses he loses a lot of speed from the killing edge. Loses speed, speed is more important than con dude. Really doesn't matter. He doubles everything with the killing edge anyway. Like I get that if you if you give him an iron blade, then yeah he stops he stops doubling some things, but otherwise it really doesn't impede him. It's much better to have right. like thirteen speed and five con than say whatever the hell Elliewood has, which is like seven speed and a little bit more con I think. Yeah, that's true. Remember. So for for this map, I prefer to send Hector uh, wests across the river down south and have him take out the boss while Marcus cleans up the south together with Matthew or backing him up so we can recruit Guy. Um, I really, I mean, I'm probably going to use Bartra here to take on this Pegasus Knight uh, simply because Bartra needs to kill. So I'm going to be placing. I think, yeah, I think you need to plan to get people more EXP because you killed a lot of things with Marcus and Oswald last chapter. Yeah, and yeah, probably. You need to feed like, XP rank is the hardest rank in the game. You need to pay attention to it. Okay. Well, I'm thinking about having Ellie would take on this Cavalier right here. Uh, I think he, like, three at kills. <laughs> he gets two at kills. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that's actually that. A, actually... I, would, I would actually have Oswin, like, have someone trade the Javelin to Oswin so he counters an enemy phase. Yeah. And then idea. you'll have an easier time killing the Cavalier with someone else. Um, Ellie would really shouldn't be seeing enemy phase combat for now. Yeah, good points. Uh, I just... Basically, this might be the chapter where you rescue someone with uh, with Marcus and have him weaken things for yeah. Uh, I say, guess Matthew, Rebecca, Elliot, etc. Yeah, Re Re Matthew's Rebecca. a good candidate. Yeah. Yeah, because we need to get Matthew down there anyway. Yeah. So I mean, what I usually do to make this chapter really easy is just send everyone left except Marcus. <laughs> but you can't do that. Be be yeah, because Marcus can take everything on his own and just take the mine village mm. and just be fine. He doesn't really die or anything. Yeah. Uh, but you cannot afford to have Marcus kill everything because uh, he steals the XP. Right, right. <laughs> it just drains your your XP rank, basically. Well, I think this is probably a good idea, and uh... that's okay. Like, like, if Marcus is weakening people uh, this way with Rebecca in his in, in tow, mm. it really doesn't help if there's no one near to take the kills. So you kind of have to feed them to Matthew at this point. Yeah, but uh, Matthew... you can't do them all at once. So maybe send one more guy or like two more guys there. Yeah. To uh, to get to move kills off Marcus, because if you're just gonna have Marcus solo the entire thing, there's no point in rescuing. That's that's a good point. That's a good good fair point. But Matthew, I actually like Matthew. I mean, once Matthew starts to get a couple of exp uh, levels, and if he levels a couple points of strength, I actually find that Matthew can take on enemies pretty easily if you give him a good. You can take a brigand. <laughs> that's take, all he does. He can take on. He can take on brigands. Some brigands there. Like oh if my you think God, about it, every, whoa, what the nice. fuck? <laughs> nice. That actually that actually doesn't really help you because Archer was gonna kill that on the next turn anyway, and now he gets ten less XP. But you know, looks pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> 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 Marker is really trying to prove it wrong. What? Right? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, so this is a uh, tassing with Manx. What the hell just happened? I I like how you are on burn off screen, just to make sure that Bartray would do that. I, I mean, did not do well that. <laughs> I did not do that. I swear to God. <laughs> not a new, she should have used a different weapon because now Marcus kills all these pegs. But, you know. that, is a, that is a fair point, but he won't kill the archers. It's okay. You can you can redo it after the uh, inevitable reset. So it's not. No, we're gonna do this in one try. Swear to God. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. After that Bartra level up, we are not resetting. That is not <laughs> happening. So ideally, right now, I gotta. It would be nice to find a way for these archers to attack someone with a ranged attack. I mean, the problem is I only got Dorcas up here. So I guess I should have planned that out better. Um, Just play your face, them, dude. Hmm. I could play or face them. That's a good point. They're weakened anyway. Like, what else are you gonna do? Uh, I guess that's a that's a fair point. Oh, I guess everyone's too far away. Huh? Everyone is too far away. That's the problem. 
Uh -huh. But I guess what I can do is I can send Marcus down to this fort and weaken these guys. Still carrying Rebecca. He's gonna run out of hand axes at this point, though. That's the problem. Yeah. If you have to reset, you should give him a javelin. Probably. Yeah, definitely. I don't. Yeah, Osman has that javelin though. I guess what I could do is I could try to get Hector down here. But I kind of want to send Hector west so he can reach the boss quicker. Also, what I, I can do. Bartry, yeah. Yeah, Bart is Bartry gonna become our MVP? That would be that would be absolutely hilarious. Not MVP, but the, that level up actually makes him a lot better. So now he doubles like zero AS soldiers, and he's like I think he gained defense too. He did. He got everything except for S. Yeah, yeah. But I think I'm I mean, actually he's not gonna good. Hmm. no. But he's like more useful. But I think what I'll do, uh, I would like to pick up Oswin potentially. I don't know. It probably um, doesn't really. Oswin speak. isn't too bad to send over to the right, actually, because you don't need too much movement over there. At the same time, like, yeah. what's he really gonna do? Because uh, it's gonna take ages for him to arrive. The only problem is that um, Rebecca's the one who's carrying all the extra <laughs> weapon. <laughs> Poor Rebecca. That's that's the problem. Should have thought that one out. Yeah, but, but no, I, I guess I'll send I'll send, I'll send I'll send Hector over here, and then I'll just. Um, Drag Oswin down here, and then I can maybe use Dorcast. Oh no, he can't pick up Oswin. What the hell? That kind of sucks. I guess we'll Not just bad enough. Kill, Sorry. Him, kill him with Matthew, He's then I suppose. Potent. I mean, Matthew in the mountains not getting hit anyway, so. Okay, so what I was gonna say about Matthew's combat is yeah, it looks kind of impressive at first because he's one of the few people doubling and he like dodges axes and everything, but if you think about it, he's bad against every single auto enemy on this map because everything he uses lances or bows. That is a good point. So also, I just realized... really not that good. Yeah. And leveling up doesn't help much because his strength throws is so bad. It's just, he gets more speed and that's basically it. Yep. He, he always gets to it, KO. That is a good point. I also realized that, um, I hope Lowen... No, Lowen doesn't get... He, he will get doubled by this Pegasus Knight, but... I actually well, prefer... Doesn't Pegasus get weighed down by the Iron Lance? Or is it slim? It's not a slim lance, is it? No, he gets weighed down. He gets weighed down <laughs> three points by an Iron Lance. It's lovely. Yeah. So you can trade him an Iron Lance if you want to take like one less damage, and that's about all you need to do. Yeah. All right. No, no, no. That's not how you do it. There we go. And I actually would prefer this archer not to attack Dorcas. So I'm just gonna do this. All right. I'm gonna keep Dorcas over here. This is this is all good. This is all all according to Kaikaku. Let's let's keep going. Let's hope, let's hope Matthew doesn't. Oh my God! This guy's a steel bow. <laughs> nice crit. <laughs> why? What is it with Hector hard mode enemies and and those low percentage crits? It's, it's, it's because FE seven player units have like really low luck. Yeah. Like base, their base luck is all kind of mediocre for like especially mill units. Mm. And then the enemies get like a slight bit more skill, and then sometimes they reach one crit. But at, at the other hand, you have a tactician bonus to crit avoid that lets you not get crit by a lot of things. Yeah, but that requires like you if, to get you many stars, and I can't do that. No. No, well, you're you're playing ranked, so you probably get more stars than in most playthroughs because mm. they're dependent on the same things that the the rankings are, are are like based on. I see, I see. And you, I think you start with like one or two. You probably get more as you go along. Depends on how well you do. Mm. Uh, but either way, you'll have like at least like three more crit avoid than you should according to stats. So that will help you avoid a lot of crits over the over the course of the game. So, one question. Uh, to get a 5-star combat rating, you got to win 60% uh, of all your battles. I thought that was one of the hardest ratings to get. Uh, I think it's 40%, uh, which is a lot better. And, like, right right now you're not winning a whole lot of battles because you're you're getting attacked without countering a lot. And yeah. Our units are bad and mang strats and everything. Yep. Uh, but once you get to later parts of the game, you're just one round killing constantly and you'll be fine. 40% is not a high benchmark to hit. At no, all. You might be. So you you might be it's right. much harder than FP6. It's much harder than FP6, I believe. But in FP7, no, it's not a problem. Uh, you really only need to pay attention to experience and right, and turns if you're really slow. Alright, I hope Matthew gets strength here. That would be nice. He did not. He got you really need to map out your turn counts, to be honest. Like, keep them saved somewhere and compare them to what you need. Because mm. later on, like, not, not like during chapters or anything, but after every chapter, you should know what turn count you got. Yeah. I'll put it in a spreadsheet. I have a spreadsheet somewhere on my Google Docs that I can share with you uh, once we're done. Right, right. Yeah. And that will, let you, that will let you keep track pretty easily and show how far behind you are on the turn count. Uh, from what I understand, you got to complete the game in 299 turns to get uh, five. Sounds about right. Yeah, so I think it should be doable. But yes, it's I definitely. It's not a hard turn count to meet, no. But there's like a lot of defense chapters where you're forced to take a long time. But there's also like. Uh, the turn requirements are really weird. Like late in the game, there's some chapters where you can make up a lot of turns because uh, I think Night of Farewells is like 28 turns to complete. You know, like even Manx can complete it quicker, <laughs> quicker than that. Uh, but at the same time, there's like zero requirement chapters. Um, mm. so they didn't program it properly. 
So uh, do you? Cost sorry to interrupt you, but uh, do you think I should uh, switch to uh, another weapon and not take all these kills with Marcus? Um, I would consider retreating, Marcus. I could go um, get the mine and then go back. Yeah, the mine isn't too valuable, so it's fine if it gets destroyed, actually. Yeah. Um, but if you if you leave Marcus in range of the brigand, then he will go for Marcus anyway. So maybe do that. Uh, Alright, yeah. Just I, be can... tempted to re I just retreat it, like I just retreat Marcus in range of the the brigand, maybe. Right. And keep the handbags equipped. So no, well, maybe not keep the handbags equipped. Actually, just lure the archers because they're weakened, so they can be easy kills for anyone that's up there. Yeah. You um, can drop Rebecca. Are you okay with you. Are you okay with losing the mine village? Actually, if you put Marcus there where he yeah. is right now, then the brigand will attack him instead of. Yeah. Um, Killing the mine village. And then I can drop Rebecca onto this mountain top yeah, right here. Yeah, that seems okay. Yeah, I would. I would really. Anything. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. like, I'm gonna go occupy the village, but yeah. I'm gonna throw hand axe at Marcus instead of robbing the villagers. Very good mm. guy, brigand right here. But yeah, I definitely. I I should have mapped. I should have planned out my first turn a little bit better because I moved some units left and then I rescue dropped them right. That cost me a turn or two, which is not great. But I'm just gonna rely on my stress to get me through this. Sorry. People are not used to use like good strats or anything. Don't worry, they know what channel they're on. <laughs> do they? <laughs> I know sometimes I question it. But maybe I maybe I, I should up, maybe I should upload this video in uh, in 240p so that they think they're on your channel. <laughs> uh, they wouldn't buy it. The strats are too bad. <laughs> oh, Mangus is playing Fire Emblem on Mecha's channel. That would be a nice an anomaly. Okay, so, uh, I do need to break the snag. I think I'm actually just gonna feel, feel, feel uh, another kill to Bartra. Yeah, I just kill everything with Bartra that you can right now, because it's basically free at this point. Yeah. Uh, I would have attacked Bartra first, because if you missed, you might not have one that's it, oh, but whatever. Oh, that's a good point, but hey, 92%. Basically, hit. everything that's like RNG proof, you want to do last, because you probably click. That is so a, you can change your plans. That is a good point. Well, Bartra's actually doing pretty well. Okay, so now we need yeah, to... Yeah, it's up since the last time, dude. <laughs> Nothing has changed. <laughs> Got a right. kill of 5 HP packs and I was doing really well. So I'm thinking about what I, if I can eliminate the archers. I'm, I'm, this Pegasus Knight will be in heal mode for another turn. So I was thinking about probably. attacking this guy with Matthew, so that Matthew will probably not die. Probably Fair. not. I mean, the Brigand might attack him, and if he gets hit... I think those have... Uh, I think they have... Did he have four? No, I think the Iron X one had 40 hit, so the Hand X one probably will have less hit. No, but I plan to um, kill the Brigand. I think, so. it, I think it, most of the time this will be fine. Yeah. I'm just trying to think. So you killed this guy with Matthew and then the other guy with Loan, I guess? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about using Dorcas to get Oswin away from Loan so I can actually unshackle him. Um, uh, although Dorcas can kill this archer, which would Wait, be. Wait, Dorcas couldn't do it last turn, couldn't he? Get, uh, uh, no, get Oswin. Oh no, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. So. Like, either Marcus has to spend his turn doing it, or Lowen has to do it. Basically. I think I'm gonna have to do this. Uh, um, no, that puts him in, that puts her in range of the hand axe dude, so you're gonna have to have people yeah. blocked away. That's a very good Because otherwise you're risking a pretty likely death. Or yeah. you have to rescue her out of the way with Dorcas and then drop her with Hollywood. Yeah, could yeah also do I could also kill him with Or Dorcas. you can kill with Dorcas. I think, yeah. Haha, what happened to Dorcas? He actually got a kill. He killed an archer. <laughs> and he got benched. This is his first kill, I think. This, this is his first attack. <laughs> Alright. He, he got the village last chapter, didn't he? If, yeah, he did. So he got a book that he couldn't read. Um, New marks if you want. With, uh, I, 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 yeah, good. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking... I probably want to attack with um, Rebecca from where Marcus is. Probably. Yeah. And That's then, a safer position. I guess I could move Marcus down here and... That's in range of Gi, I think. That's in range of Gi. Yeah, that would not be good. Don't do that, yeah. I guess I could do this. Just get him out. Could, but like that that's probably going to be an easy kill to beat someone else, so I wouldn't have done that, but whatever. Well it's good to right away, I guess. Man strats. True. I just don't but want I mean, to lose Rebecca either. There's only so much I can do every chapter to help you out. At some point <laughs> you will be like like not even like jokingly, but at some point your experience rank will be beyond fucked because you can't really mm. get much, but you'd have to map it out. There's... Experience rank planning is a planning is a pain in the butt. Well, anyway. So uh we can't heal anyone this turn, sadly. So I'm thinking about dropping off Loan or dropping off Oswin. Not in range of. Uh, I can drop him off in range of this guy, I guess. It's not a big, big issue. Like so. And I think we should be good. Yeah, this normally you want to go like left instead of south from yeah. the starting point. Oh, it's shit. easier. You gotta, you gotta get the XP oh! somehow. <laughs> hey, good guy, Marcus. <laughs> Marcus is like, I'm gonna just pretend like I missed this one. 
good guy, Marcus. Oh my god. What a guy. What a guy. Okay, so now this... I like how the Pegasus blocked the reinforcements. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually, actually helpful. So I'm thinking this is some wolf bill action right here. It is. I don't think he wanted kills, but he does fine. Uh, does he still have the vulnerary? He does, right? He does have the vulnerary. No, he doesn't. Okay, Fuck. Good. That's a, yep. no way. Okay, then you can probably cannot survive doing that. No. So uh, you're gonna have to do some math or retreat him and not do it. One of those. Mm. So <laughs> let, let, me, let me think. <laughs> okay, uh, 15. Eight. I can do the math if you want. Okay, this guy does 15 damage, this guy does 15 damage. Hector has 8 defense and weapon drawing advantage. Will he be fine? Yeah, so they do 6 each. So that puts him at 8, I think. Mm -hmm. No, wait, I'm wrong. If they do 6 each, that puts him at 10 if both hit. Mm hmm. So they has 10 and they've got the Pegasus Knight and the Archer. I forgot if they move in groups or not. I don't If you want, know. you could lure the, the Pegasus with uh, Bartrey first. That is a good point, actually. Um, you can put him on the or forest. Or I, I can put, to. I can pack, yeah, if I put Hector in yeah, the forests, yeah. then he only takes one Cavalier. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And I guess what we could do. I'm yeah, not sure you if can this... just do the village later. Yeah, I it's, think it's this is actually, yeah, I can put, I can put Bartrey right here. No, dude, put him in the forest. Oh well. Why? Not. Yeah, just to lure the Pegasus Knight to attack Bartra. Yeah, but now the Pegasus Knight can attack both Bartra and Hector, right? That so is... Hector's low on HP and might go for uh, that is uh, that is a good point. And also, that, the Pegasus Knight might block a spot where you want the Cavalier to be or something. I don't know. It's just you're opening yourself up for more RNG bullshit. Hmm. I think we're actually going to feed this kill to Rebecca. Sure. Actually, no, uh, if, you, a... if you if you just make sure you can kill the or close in on the Pegasus and soldier first, mm. you don't want those to attack her. Yeah, I should probably kill the Pegasus. Knight. You can you can put Oswin uh, above the soldier, and then even if he doesn't kill, or like you can even not attack with Oswin, just put him there, and he probably doesn't kill Guy in one hit. I no, he doesn't. He, does. he doesn't. And he also can't kill him with double crit. I don't think. No, he can't. He seven uh... So you could you could even. No, he won't kill him. Thirteen. Yeah. So you, like okay, so before you move it, just I'm just saying planning it, playing it out is a good idea. So if you put Oswin above the soldier, then that guy probably can't get out. If you put other people around the Pegasus Knight, right? Because mm. he's like locked in. You can feed the kill to someone. Mm -hmm. Like you can attack as well if you want just to get rid of him. But I I want to feed soldier kills to someone. Yeah, it's impossible. Um, but I guess we're doing mang strats today. <laughs> I just you know the less the less units there are around, the better in my opinion. Besides, that's true. Is that why you got people killed like on your own side? <laughs> yes, exactly. Finally got it. And I was thinking about actually trying to take this guy down with Rebecca because if I, I, I can't yeah, move into works. this. I can't move into this guy's range with Matthew because that. Just, just kill the Pegasus Knight first to see if it works. It was like a low one. Yeah, probably a good idea. Do you think blocking the reinforcements is a good idea or? Uh, I don't even know if there's reinforcements next turn. Probably is. Yeah, well, let's uh, play it safe then. Yeah, it's whatever. I mean, they, they come before uh, player phase and after enemy phase, so it's fine if they appear. You, you can, like, these are not very threatening in reinforcements because you can put your units around them. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, I so see. You don't, they don't really, they don't really end up being yeah. all that scary. But yeah, I think I'll still do this though. Just to. This is fine. Even if she misses, I have backup, so it's fine. And you're gonna lure D this turn, so it'll be another way to get an easy kill next turn. Yep. All right, we'll put. Uh, yeah, we can move everyone in closely. Yeah. Just make sure Matthew's in range of key. Yeah. And... I think a good strat for beginners is to put Matthew on the fort so he doesn't die, and then next turn he has enough move to reach key without key having to reach anyone. For beginners, uh, yes. But I am not a beginner. Remember that. I'm a you veteran. veteran. Well, I'm, maybe you're not a beginner, but you definitely are a noob. So. There's that. <laughs> hey, that's not the, that. Okay, that's actually the two different things, but still. All right, we'll move Elliewood down here. We'll go visit the village, meet uh, the Hana. Ah, oh, what good timing! Would you try this for me? It's an invention of great witch, or of a great witch, me. It's a mine. It contains some very glitchy magic. Hide it on the ground, and you can take control of the enemies. Kaboom! Hello, <laughs> like man! That's how you'll break your emulator. I'm still testing them, so that's one's free. Come back and tell me how it works. So you really didn't test them very well. <laughs> I can't come back because you closed the village, idiot. Alright, um... Thanks calling people an idiot? Okay. Yeah, I'm calling him an idiot. Alright, so I think what I'll do is I'll move... Him. Yeah, I'll move Marcus down here. We'll see how this goes. Okay. Oh! Oh! One crit! It's okay. <laughs> you can do it, Guy. You can do it. <laughs> Keep trying. Almost got wow. him down. Just half of his HP with the crit and the hit. What a great <laughs> unit. Yeah, that'll be probably... And there's another guy you could have fed to, like, a Rebecca or something. <laughs> Instead, it's just... Mini Jagening all over again. I'm telling you, XP rank and I, I hard mode is really rough because like um, at some point your XP gets like really bad. 
Mm-hmm. You take like uh, f- five or ten XP for a kill with like an unpromoted unit. It's really annoying. Mm-hmm. He does want a kill. Wow. He does want a kill. Yeah. Well, that's actually bad for experience rank. Now that I think about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, hi. I mean, like, who else was gonna get that kill? Like, March rank, whatever. Actually, this is not not that bad. Good for us. Uh, this is an easy kill for like Rebecca or Dorcas if you want. Yep, I was thinking about. Actually, I'm not sure if Rebecca one shots. No, she doesn't. But that's fine. No, of course not. <laughs> Rebecca one shotting things. Nice one. <laughs> but I mean, some nice XP. I mean, if Sarah can heal Ellie, it's all good. We're currently on turn six, so we ideally we would like to engage that guy and kill him soon. But the problem is right now is these guys just spawned, so we gotta get. They would kill that Pegasus Knight because if you heal him and then. Uh, um. Yeah, it would be nice Edward to give one of the guys that you definitely want to feed kills to whenever you can. Yeah, that's very true, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get him down. I'm definitely not gonna give the kill to Dorcas because uh, I'm not using Dorcas. Well, you have to use everyone for this uh, if you want to ask dude. Well, yeah, I'm using them, but like the moment I can bench him, I'm not using him anymore. No, but yeah, you have to feed like everyone some kills at some point. You're gonna have to deploy like unpromoted scrubs that you're never fielding just to boost your HP rank, like. When I did Hector Normal Mode ranks, I was fielding Wrath in the final chapter, and he was unpromoted or something. Hold on, you! I know you! Isn't your name Guy? It's... it's that you, Matthew? What a pleasant surprise! It's your sword work coming. You are aware that this is the best place to be catching up, aren't you? You and I, we're on opposite sides here. What? Are you saying you're going to fight me? Uh, well, yeah, I'm much improved. You can't beat me! You can't win against Guy Guy. You're quite a terror guy. Well then, hold on. I think I'd prefer if you were paid what you owe me. Huh? Last time I saw you, I gave you food, if I remember correctly. You said you owed me your life. I only said that because you said you'd feed me if I did. I hadn't eaten in ten days and you were cooking meat. You, this, this isn't fair. The people of Sakai never lie, isn't that right, guy? Uh, fine, yeah, they never lie. I find, finally find work and now I have to throw it away. This is all your fault. Alright, now we got D. Am I done? Um, hmm? Can I unface palm now? You can face. Can I undo, undo my face palm now? Okay, good. Why? What do you have against my voice acting, uh, Mecca? Uh, voice acting, like your voice acting in particular, isn't bad. I just, I don't see the point. Like people, I like would it. never do it for my videos. People like yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. All right. So I think what I should do is I should probably, um, I think, let's see if Marcus doubles this guy. If you're gonna move Marcus there, just have him rescue someone because. You really, really cannot afford to have Marcus eat it, eat everything. And like, I know this is going right against my pit. Like, it hurts me to say this every time. Like, you can't afford to have Marcus kill everything. Mm-hmm. But you, you cannot underestimate the HP rank in this game. It's really annoying. Right. Right. So yeah, pick up some kind of scrub like Matthew and just. Go yeah, to I was town. thinking about just getting the Iron Axe actually, and then rescuing Dorcas. That's fine. Maybe grabbing the mine. Just in case you need to glitch for like the last five enemies. I'm not gonna glitch. I do need to kill this guy though. So yes, I'm using my killing edge. Deal with it. You didn't need to do that, but oh well. What could I have done? Well, you could at least like chip it with Matthew to get him some EXP. Right. Right, right. Let's see if I don't I think he could have killed anyone anyway, because no one is all at night. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I gotta go visit this village at some point if I wanna unlock the Gaiden. This will never do! Look at the time! I must leave for Kaelin now, or my business will be ruined! Time is money after all! Hurry, hurry, rush, rush, rush! Oh, huh? what's this? That man must have dropped it. I'm not surprised that Barter doesn't know what a torch is. <laughs> Me neither. Alright, so what I think I should do right now is I should probably let this... Uh, I could equip the hand axe and just stay in the forests. I think that's probably a good idea. Do you Remember, right? Marcus is taking care of the left, the right cavalier. So I know, but not this guy. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take him. Uh, that's fine. Mm-mm-mm. All right, so this is good. I like how Marcus is just carrying around Dorcas. That's how strong he is. He's killing things while carrying Dorcas. Like, yeah, what's even more impressive is Dorcas carrying around Marcus. <laughs> can well, he can do that, right? Because he has so much confidence. Yeah. God damn it, Hector. I mean, remember when I told you how weapon triangle works? Yes. No. Oh, I think Allspin's <laughs> gonna double this guy, because he has a steel lens. Yep. Oh well. Well, he's about like, to reach I... level 10. <laughs> Don't be surprised if, like, in chapter 13, I think, you get access to checking your ranks. Don't uh-huh. be surprised if your XP rank is already, like, 1 star or something. You think 1? No, come on. 
Yeah, that's what I always think when I play ranked, but then you actually look and it does say one star. It, it gets better later on, but it's still like a, a pretty tough wake up call. Right. Okay, so what I can do right now is I can kill this guy with Matthew, and now I can. I can ah, good one. Definitely, good one. Definitely. I think not. Matthew can kill a guy. Yeah. And then I think we'll start to maybe chip the boss down with Marcus, because we do want a good turn count as well. Uh, but I also do want to. Too late for that. <laughs> no, come on. It's not too late. Be so bleak, Mecca. Ah, Jesus Christ, this is not good. Um, we definitely want to... Yeah, I think if we do this... Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Maybe okay, maybe you, drop yeah. Dorcas off and let Marcus deal yeah. with that guy. I'm trying to think if, um, if he kills over the course of two rounds of combat. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I would drop Dorcas on like the... 16. Yeah, he'll double the guy if I drop Dorcas, so... Oh, shit. <laughs> there we go. Marcus. <laughs> it's Marcus. He, he does double. And we'll move boss win up here. We gotta be a little bit careful about these Pegasus Knights. This guy's gonna go for low end. Make sure to Sarah has someone to heal. Yeah, I think I think he can take the healing. Good. Yeah, you wanna make sure you heal with Sarah every single turn. There we go. Um, I think this is a safe spot for Matthew. No, wait, is it? Yes, it is. I do wanna visit the um, I do wanna visit the uh, armory though, because they sell javelins. I'm not sure what to do about Bartrake. Right? He's gonna get attacked by this guy. Unless I tried to hit him with. Do you think this is gonna work? Well, he takes six and he can take six in any phase. Yeah, this is scary. Probably survive. I just choke point the thing with Hector, but it might cost you a couple turns because he needs to walk to the to the throne still. Yeah, or I. But could then again, just... if you keep him in the forest, it's kind of the same thing. Or I could just run away here. Or he can walk there and then other people can help, I guess. Yeah, I think that might but not then, be such a. Then Bartrake just gets attacked by that cavalier, doesn't he? He does. And he might actually... I guess he can run away. Mm. You can get him out of range of the Cavalier, I think. If you want to. Yes. No, I can't. <laughs> oh, actually, shit. actually can't. All right. Guess we'll just guess choke we'll... point down. I guess. I guess we're choke pointing. Yeah. Because Bartra just can't deal with that guy. All right. Hmm. Let's see how it goes. You thought Bartra was going to be good. <laughs> what happened to Bartra? Watch this. You made it this far. Oh, I paid too much for that worthless pack of soul swords. You bait these guys? Yeah, you're bad. <laughs> Don't crit, Marcus. Oh yeah, so this was what I was trying to to map out. Yeah, Marcus um, kills him in the next turn. If, Mar if Marcus had like somehow attacked previous turn, and then the boss would have healed up a little bit, and then Marcus would have attacked again. Right. And, and he then he would like have like single digit HP, and anyone could have killed him. Well, not anyone, because that guy has like a million defense. I think like Dorcas can do like zero damage to him if you're unlucky. Uh -huh. I forgot the exact numbers. Hmm. You know, this is actually a really bad mecha. Well, oh, oh shit, it's a max playthrough. Yeah, but this... Oh, thank god. Oh my god, if he had hit that, though. Oh. But that yeah, would have been gold. Yeah, but what I'm saying is this is really bad, because Hector is... He's not going to survive for much longer. Just I, strike a guy with Marcus. Yeah, I'm going to have to kill the guy with Marcus. Mm, do, I, do I use my Silver Lance here? I think I might have to use my Silver Lance right here, just to get it. Yeah. It sucks, but I'm going to have to do it. It's fine. Fun to rank is easy. Yeah. Okay, so this is good. Maybe even we'll see if we can kill the guy with Hector. I just wish I'd traded Hector and RNX before this map began. Bra -ba 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 -ba. Hit points. Oh, Marcus. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's still good. I mean, do you really want Marcus to be able to one round kill enemies? No. No, you have a point. It's, I think it's fine if you like weakens stuff. Okay, come on, Bart. You like, can do if this. If this was like a super casual playthrough, then yeah, I won't like good level up some Marcus, but at this rate, I'm like, who you're, cares? You're ready for the miracle again. You get it ready for the miracle again. Of course. I'm always ready for some miracles. Yeah. There you go. A little miracle for you. Yes. I mean, it's not it's not as miracle, but it's still pretty good. No. It's still pretty good, yeah. Alright, so we, we definitely want to get Hector in range of the gate now. I'm actually even considering rescuing him. So we can see him on the next turn. Um, depends. If, if, like, will you be able to kill the boss over the next turn? I guess you can kill, kill with Marcus, yeah. Yeah, if I can just get Hector in range of the gate, then, then I can definitely kill mm -hmm. the boss. Yeah, I don't think this game costs him any moves, so it's just five tiles. Lovely, Rebecca. Thank you. But I think I should... Yeah, I should have something to heal with Sarah, so that's good. But what I could do... Um, yeah, I could pick up uh, Hector with Yeah, Dorcas. you can drop him. Yeah. And then I could do this. I could even, to be quite honest... Uh, how low is Hector? Uh, let's see, Hector is on 12 hit points, so as long as we don't drop him in range of- Oh no, he doesn't have a javelin! Lol. 
No, he doesn't. <laughs> Idiot. So we'll take Hector. We'll make sure that he has his wolf bill. I mean, to be fair, you don't have many, ja many javelins either, so... Mm. What does, well, what does I that can, make you? I'm gonna go and buy some javelins on the next turn. But yeah, if I can kill the boss on the next turn, which should be doable... Pretty so sure. have Matthew buy things then? Yeah, I'm gonna have Matthew buy things. So I don't know why I'm moving Elliwood. It's not useful, but I'm moving him anyway, I guess. Boys! So you can support Hector, of course. Yep. Oh, come on. oh please don't tell me that... No, he, he won't double Hector. He does. He won't double okay. Hector. <laughs> God damn it! That fucking scared me. Actually, I like how there's like an earthquake whenever Hector misses. <laughs> Have you noticed that the screen like shakes and stuff? It's really weird. It's like I don't running. think it does that for any other unit. That's what... Is it just me? I it might. Be. You can sell the red gem here if you want. Yeah. All right. So I guess what we should probably get, uh, we should get a couple of javelins on hand axis. You can only buy two things. <laughs> Your oh, inventory right. is really full. Well, I guess I could one of each, sell... One of, each, one of each will last you a while. You probably want the Vulnerary, to be honest. Yeah. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I guess what I could do is I could rescue Matthew and shop with someone else, but I'm not sure if I'm... Maybe. Just make sure you kill the boss first, just so you have enough units, I guess, but... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I guess the fighters can do it together. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think... But yeah, let's kill, let's kill the Cavaliers first. Uh, or yeah, You can actually probably do it with Hollywood, maybe. Possibly. Yeah, because his, uh, his might doesn't get nerfed by weapon triangle this time, but he, I don't think he does... He might do 14? You can check, you know, you can check this in advance. I can Just check do this. do the math. Alright, yeah. so 14 plus uh, 5 is 19? Yeah. Yeah. He does 11. That's 11 damage, plus... So you have to do 16. 13. So no, that's not enough, actually. Hmm. Yeah, you'd have to use low one, but then nobody can go in front of the boss. You can, yeah, you can seize this turn and attack with Hollywood, I'm afraid. Yeah, that sucks, but that's how it works, sadly. Oh, to be honest, you couldn't really attack with Hollywood anyway if you wanted to seize this turn, right? Because Hector would have to move first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, a good, that's a good point. I guess I could just kill it with Marcus, I mean... Why not use the Iron Axe? I think it's more accurate, isn't it? The Iron Axe doesn't kill him. Oh, oh, right, yeah. Does Oswin kill with Javelin if you use that, if you use the Iron Axe? Good point. Uh, he... no, not reliably. Yeah, that's not very reliable, shaky. Not no. reliably. No, we're yeah. gonna have to do it this way. But, you know, giving a boss kill to Marcus, in my opinion... Oh, what the? Marcus. It's not bad. No, it's not bad, because he, he gets a lot out of it. Mm -hmm. You've beaten me, but you're too late to save him. Too bad, eh, laddie? <laughs> 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 I like his laughter. So, now we do, we can seize on this turn, but I would ideally like to try and kill this guy, if possible. I don't think we're gonna be able to, though. Nope, we're actually not gonna be able to kill him. I don't see any way we can kill him. You can still weaken him, though, for a bit of the XP. That's true, and also I can do some more shopping. Mm -hmm. If I do this, and I think I definitely want to do this. Actually, I should probably make sure that Matthew has the torch. I'm gonna get two hand axes. It's fine, you can trade chain 13x. It's not too hard. Trade chain? What's that? It's like rescue chaining, but what's, easier. What's, what's this weird, so what's this you weird strategy you talk of? I've never heard about use this. Use low one. Why not use. Nah, I guess low one can throw a javelin then. Yeah, that's the plan. Mm. Hey, and the boss been leveled up, which is always nice. Hit points and defense. <laughs> yeah! That totally All we need. All we need. Mm hmm. I wonder if it's possible to do this on 0% growth. Mm, I don't know. Didn't uh, didn't Don Don have a 0% effect to hard mode growth? No, I mean I mean ranked play. Oh, ranked play. Oh no, I don't think that's possible. Super hardcore. Oh, cool. One hit point missing. Yeah, better heal it. Better Here we heal go. the scratches. All right, we did it. Okay, so that is nine turns. Not too bad. Could be worse. Could could be a lot worse. <laughs> Lord Helmand. Is that you, Hollywood? Hold on, my lord. I must apologize. Your father, he... You know something, sir? I... If I hadn't told Lord Albert about Darren's plans, this would have never have... <laughs> lord Hellman, go to Laos. Darren, the Marcus of Laos, knows all. Marcus Laos? I'm sorry, Hollywood, I can't. Hold on. Beware, the Black Fang. Healing only works when, when the plot is convenient. Lord Hellman, he's gone. It can't be. Lord Hellman, 
why did this happen? I was thought this, this this story makes it like you're supposed to be really sad that this old guy died, but we don't know anything about him. Blasts. What's going on? I know he's incompetent. On? He's in what? He's incompetent. That's yeah. what I know. Yeah. He's dumb. Just like everyone else in the V7. We go to Laos. We must speak to the Marcus of Laos, Lord Darren. He's a completely sensible man. You're right. We should leave quickly. Not sure how far we can get today, but I can't sit still. Pardon me. Hmm. Hector needs a fidget spinner. <laughs> I actually ordered one. If I may. Who are you? <laughs> I'm the steward of Santa Rus. With our lord gone, what are we to do? First, you give Lord Helm a proper burial. After that... Well, oh, thanks. I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> Jesus I'm Christ. Sure the, I'm sure the Legion Council will have to meet. Stay here and defend the castle until you hear more. I understand. Wow, castle in the hand of green units. It's completely safe. Let's go. We must keep moving. Yes, and we need to seek answers from Marcus Santa Rus too. Lord Helmut, may you find peace. Accept side quests? Of course. Hey, wait. Does uh, side quests have a negative impact on your ranking? Do they, like, increase uh, the amount can. of turn? I can explain now if you want in some other episode. You can explain it in the next <laughs> it's, episode. It's kind of complicated. Okay, you can explain okay. it in the next episode. Anyway, uh, so what should they do, Mecha? Um, what should do, that your subs do? Yes. Well, they should uh, like, comment, subscribe, I guess. Yeah, um, you did it. Without a snarky comment, you're getting better. I learn, I learn quickly, unlike Mags. <laughs> hey. Okay, well, that's that's it, I suppose. My name is Max. My name is Mecca, still. And we shall see you guys. It hasn't changed. And we shall see you guys <laughs> next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.